Hey everybody, it's Brittany from PowerboatNation.com and Speedboat Magazine. I'm here with Bill Tweedy with Myco Trailers, which is an item that everyone needs if they purchase a boat, of course. So uh, tell us what's going on with Myco Trailers for 2019 and everything that's been going on. Well, you know, we're, we're off the charts right now. It's busier than a bee. Um, average trailer size at Myco is for a 46-foot boat right now. Um, cats are hot. So we're back in the tilt trailer business. Um, we've got the only wet launch um, tilt trailer in the industry right now, salt water. Primarily for the smaller cats, and, uh, but we're working on it for the bigger ones as well. So um, everything's going nuts, big center consoles, big power, and uh, average trailer size just gets on bigger and bigger and bigger every year. You know, Bill, over the years, I think you've built trailers for almost every manufacturer. And uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you also have patterns for most of the boats out there, people to look in to replace their trailers, even a 42-foot fountain or something like that, uh, cigarettes, whatever, uh, a well-known trailer, especially um, on the East Coast. Uh, but they, they get everywhere. And uh, I remember talking to you about building tilt trailers you said, nah, it's too much trouble and now the demand is very high and and uh and the uh, number of builders uh um that build tilt trailers is down to about two and a half right now including you so i, I that's what got me to thinking i saw it, i saw your ad so it worked uh micro trailers tilt trailers that's basically what it said and uh and so I, we're really glad to see you're back in that business and uh uh, it takes a lot to do to uh, get a tilt trailer with all the hydraulics and and all the systems to also be salt waterproof. Yeah, that's that's the key thing. Is um, we're one of the only manufacturers that I know of that has a mechanical engineer on staff. Don King's been with us for 35 years, so that separates us from all the other boys out there. So we can design all the real complicated, intricate trailers. And you're absolutely right. I mean. Our files go back to, uh, to the 70s, and uh, so we've got some really cool stuff. The archives are there. Anybody needs a trailer for anything, we've probably got the CAD drawings or the line drawings of the original boat. But uh, tilts are, uh, are huge with these small cats especially. I mean, you know, Skater, Doug Wright, uh, you know, gosh, all Victory is building a 34, and they're all saying the same thing on the docks. Bill, can you build me that tilt trailer? I want a saltwater tilt trailer. And because most of the trailers, tilts out there right now, you have to have the boat lifted on and off. And you can't wet launch them. With ours, you can go in and out of salt water with it, no problem, hose it down, and uh, you don't have to have, you know, pay for that expense to have it lifted off. The tilt trailers are primarily steel, right? Yes, correct. All steel and everything. We do a lot of work out of aluminum. We pioneered the aluminum channel trailers uh, about 20 years ago. A lot of people are copying us, but um, you're looking at the, uh, it's just too soft a metal when you're perching that big boat way up top. So we like to, uh, we like to put everything on steel. That way we know it's, it's going to be where it's supposed to be. You know, my preferred way to see a tilt trailer is with the port side up. And, uh, but, so I call that the professional tilt. And, uh, and then there's the vanity tilt where they put the starboard side up. That's so people can see you going down the highway. And, uh, but I, I figured out for sure that uh, trees pretty much grow, grow from the center line. And, uh, and the other thing is, is that the tilt trailers, the boat, the, there's a little more weight on the upside and the crown of the road uh, helps uh, offset some of that load on the left side. So it's, you know, maybe 55, 45, somewhere in that. You're absolutely right. I mean, I, we, we try to talk people out of, you know, the, um, the vanity look. And, um, but, you know, well, oh, well, I got to have it for my friends. And, you know, and the people got to see us coming down. And I go, okay. And then all of a sudden you get a call from them saying, by the way, I just ripped, the, you know, ripped all the paint off the top. Trees got it. Branch got it or whatever. And they go, oops. <laughs> Told you. 
<laughs> well, thank you, Bill, and everything thank that you've you, done with the you. industry and um, all the manufacturers. I'm sure greatly appreciate the oh. services that you provide, oh, and so fun. does all the customers. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, Brittany with Speedboat Magazine and PowerboatNation.com. Stay tuned for more coverage from the 2019 Miami Boat Show.